There is probably nothing here which is incomprehensible to you, what magic is, what sorcery is. These are all things that have been worked out for a long time. They absolutely really work. This is some kind of informational laying out, referring to some subject, and then it is redirected to some real subject. And with this subject, there takes place that which one did with some kind of dummy back in ancient times. For example, in order to kill a mammoth, they first portrayed some kind of replica, fought with it, and then they had all this information laying out in real life. In Rus they say, tell a man three times that he is a pig and he will grunt. This is really so, because the most important thing is the formation of thought forms. In life, in the material world, nothing happens, no events appear until a certain thought form takes shape. That is, if there are some people who wanted acts of terrorism to take place on the 20th of such and such a month, then two weeks before that, it's necessary to start talking about this and form corresponding thought forms that on the 20th, someone, somewhere, there will probably be terrorism there. If we talk about it, it will happen. These are the tried and tested techniques of very ancient social magic. These techniques are most clearly presented in the same the little golden calf. The little golden calf is a kind of social magic in relation to the ongoing perestroika. That is, Ostap Bender is the hero of today with his 120 relatively honest ways of making money. Ilf and Petrov were initiated people and they, in an artistic form, reflected some global social phenomena that occur in life. In chapter 21 of The Little Golden Calf, which is called The End of Rookery, you can see the following plot. The restless mind of Chamberlain Mitrich languished with idleness, and he noticed that the old woman next door was pouring kerosene into her oil stove, and he thought that she would probably burn this house down. He ran urgently to the insurance office, insured all his property. The rumor about this swept through the entire suburb. People began to insure their property, then take it out for friends and relatives. And then a quote, everything was clear, the house was doomed, it could not avoid going up in smoke. And actually at midnight the apartment flared up simultaneously in six different places. This is a situation that should not be taken as a joke. Through such things, the most globally serious information is given. In reality, this is how governance towards processes flows. If you see, for example, a car driving down the street, be sure that before this car appeared, the idea of this car appeared, an image appeared, drawings appeared. Had there been no idea, there would have been no car and any events are the same. This is programming in its purest form. Here, for example, about today's affairs, Listyev, everything that happened to him, he built it himself. All thoughts and words must be taken very seriously. You must understand that in addition to the separate individual, there is the so-called collective psyche, there is the all-people psyche, and these informational layings out, the thoughts of everyone, they can converge. And the principle of the so-called informational domino is known. That is, there is a certain chain, and in the domino, as is known, the knuckle is dropped, and the knuckles go, once, 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 such a figure appears, the knuckles immediately fall into place. If even one knuckle is missing, then this does not happen. In the same way, in thoughts and words. There is a certain collective reason. In this collective reason, this link is missing. You literally brought something here with your thought, you closed this chain, and it fell on your head, as it was done by Listiev. So that you understand questions of governance, there is perhaps no more dangerous program than Field of Miracles.